Before we get the class started, as people continue to log in and then and then let you take it away, Teresa, would that be good? Yeah. yeah. Fine. This week I've themed my my week as strong knees, please. Sort of carried that theme through everything that I do with my groups this week, just because it's fun and so and I think everybody can have a stronger knee. And the one thing that I think that I could share with you that maybe is something to think about is. Um, there's a difference between a straight knee that's straight and a straight knee that's actively straight. And that actually brings in uh, a quad work. So this VMO or the medial part of the quad actually kicks in more when you have an actively straight leg than if you just hang the leg out. So what I told my class this morning is every time you extend your leg that I want you to think about extending uh, and activating the leg, not just extending the legs, but it's kind of out there and that's kind of straight, but that's really straight now if I really work through it. And one of my favorite exercises is one that I steal from PT, which is called terminal knee extension. So um, it's just a tiny little quad exercise and typically I do it with a band, but you could do it on your springboard with a loop around the back of the knee um, if you wanted to instead. But I'm gonna, so typically I would tie a knot in the end of the spring, the TheraBand, and have them stick it in a door. Genevieve's gonna be my door, she doesn't know this, but she's my door. And so I stuck it in the door, and I'm just gonna put it right behind my knee, and give some tension on the back of it. And I'm gonna stand, it might work, but it gets harder if I just balance on the one leg, so this would be the most advanced version. You could have a leg down for support if you needed it. But here, I'm just gonna allow a bend in the knee and then I'm gonna push back into the resistance. And that's the work of the exercise, is the push back into the resistance. So here is my, um, so this is one of the, my favorite things just to get that quad on. And that's that same act activity that, that I require, or I ask for in those classes. Whether it's on the reformer and one leg's up, I make them really straighten that knee on the leg up or I'll have them do it when they're in extended leg position, so like in the hundreds or in any position where their legs are being floated, asking them for that straight knee is what I'm after. So this is just one of my favorites for the knee. So I uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. So if they don't have the door, what I've been doing in my group classes, my virtual classes, is having them take the band behind, find a little bit of a squat, and then press, mm -hmm. and come in and then press. So this takes a lot more work everywhere, back neutral, I'm trying to keep back neutral, trying to keep my shoulders in the right place. There's a lot going on in this exercise, but it also gets to that same thing of activating the knees um, and getting that quad on to give support. So it's a great muscle to support. Somebody post-injury really usually needs that muscle on. So there you go, a little knee tidbit before we get started. All right, so Teresa is going to be teaching our class today. She's in Oakland, is that correct, Teresa? Hi, everyone. So I'm Teresa. I live in Oakland, born in Oakland. And um, I teach uh, mainly to queer folk, black folk, brown folk, fat folk, trans folk, sex workers, disabled folk, and those who love them. And so those are most of my clients that roll through. I have a sassy bunch of people, but I strongly believe that you attract who you are. So I'm going to teach you a class today, um, a great class, but I'm going to teach it in how just to make it more fun because I, you know, fitness, a lot of people take fitness seriously, which you should, but it doesn't have to be so serious where it's not fun. So my whole thing is like, if it's not fun, why should I do it? When we laugh a lot especially online. They curse me out all the time. Now that we're on Zoom, they unmute themselves to curse me out. It's really cute. And so um, so we're just going to um, just hang out. And I'm just going to, I go back and forth between watching and modeling, so and demoing. So I trust you to know your bodies. So I'm just going to have you just lie on your backs. So you're going to lie on your backs. We're going to start lying down. So your knees are bent, your feet are hip distance apart, shoulders down the back. 
and just have a moment. This is where, this is the, my best part of class is the beginning where everything, you just get to like, let everything just flow into the earth, right? So everything that is touching the floor is heavy on the floor. That's your head, your ribs, your hips, your feet, your arms, your triceps, all the things that are touching are just hanging out and just heavy. So I want you to think about your bones here, not so much your muscles, let your bones be heavy and just sit. So be the carpet, be your mat right now. Your mat is not trying to hold itself up while it's laying on the floor. It's just laying on the floor. So you just lay on top of it as well. Great, so I'm gonna have you take an inhale breath through the nose. And then you're just gonna exhale it out and just get heavier on the floor. Do it again, inhale into the nose. And exhale into, out of your mouth and just feel your shirt move away from your abdominals as your abdominals sink down into your body like a fallen cake. Do it again, inhale. I make a lot of food references because I like to eat. And exhale. So everyone put your thumbs on your ribs, on the front of your ribs. And then bring your fingers to your hips, right? So thumbs and hips, these are your suspenders right here. So I want you to think about your suspenders. Your suspenders, you know, kind of keep your, um, your pants up for one. And so it keeps everything in alignment. So I want you to think of your ribs over your pelvis. So your ribs over your pelvis, it should be here. I mean, I, there's a variation on that. Everybody's not perfect, but we're just gonna try and stay in neutral here. So think about neutral, where your suspenders are in space on your body, and then, when you breathe and you exhale, try and maintain that space right there. Nice. So underneath your neck, you have a strawberry. Underneath your low back, you have a raspberry. You wanna keep them both safe, right? So you have your cervical spine and your lumbar spine. Your spine might be laying directly on your raspberry and that is totally fine, as long as you're not crushing it. Go ahead and bring your hands back to your side. So we'll just visualize where your suspenders are right now. You're gonna take an inhale breath right here. You're gonna tilt the tailbone under and crush your raspberry. So we're gonna make raspberry jam. So crush your raspberry and then release it. You get a new raspberry, it's like a cartoon raspberry. You're gonna inhale here and then exhale, tilt the tailbone under, crushing your blueberry and then releasing it. You're gonna keep doing this. Exhale, tilt the tailbone under and crush. But then try not to use your butt so much. Try to use mostly your abdominals as you move the pelvis itself, right? The muscles are gonna fire and do their thing. So they're just gonna do their thing automatically while you focus on moving the bones. So inhale, you come into neutral, your raspberry shows back up. Exhale, you tilt the tailbone under and you crush the blueberry. The next time you come into neutral, you'll have that inhale. And then you're gonna exhale, you're gonna tilt the tailbone under and you're gonna articulate your hips up one vertebrae at a time, coming into a bridge, pushing through your feet. Can't help but push through your feet. Your butt will activate here, which is you know understandable because as you move bones, muscles will move. You're gonna inhale at the top and you're gonna exhale, come down, upper back, middle back, low back, hips, and tailbone. You're gonna do that again. Inhale and exhale, crush your blueberry or blueberry raspberry as you roll up one vertebrae at a time. Lifting yourself up, take an inhale at the top and then exhale, come on down, upper back, middle back, low back, hips, and tailbone. Make sure you're gonna do that again. You're gonna inhale, you're gonna exhale, crush your blueberry raspberry and roll on up, pushing your knees away from your hips. Hold it there at the top. So you're pressing down into your feet, all four corners of each foot. You're gonna pull your heels towards your butt and your shoulders as your knees push away. Just take an inhale breath here. Stay lifted as you exhale. Nice, think about your suspenders, where are they at? Inhale. And exhale. One more time, you're gonna inhale at the top. And you're gonna exhale, you're gonna roll, articulate down. Upper back, middle back, low back, hips and tailbone, and release that, very nice, I like that. Bring your arms up to the ceiling. 
palms face each other your shoulders are in the socket i want you to reach for the ceiling like you're reaching for something that you like it could be a person it could be like some food it could be like something shiny so reach so your shoulders are going to come out of the socket so you're going to keep the arms straight as you plop your shoulders back into the socket just plop it down nice inhale reach for the ceiling reach for whatever and then exhale plop it back down nice two more like that inhale reach and exhale plop one more time, inhale, reach for the ceiling. And then exhale, plop it on down. Keep your ribs right where they are. Keep the back ribs nice and heavy as you reach for the wall behind you. Try not to arch the back, which means you might not reach all the way back, which is fine. And then you're gonna bring your arms, your wrists right back over your shoulders to the top. Nice. Inhale, take it back. Keep those ribs nice and anchored. And then exhale, bring it back. Nice, feel the bones moving here. Inhale, feel the bones in the sockets, right? Shoulder in the socket, inhale. And then exhale, bring it back one more time. You're gonna inhale, take the arms back. And then exhale, bring the arms forward. I'm gonna have you touch the palms of your hands together. So hands, Palms and hands are touching. Your arms are right above you, but your shoulders are in the socket. You have a string from your nose to your thumbs, right? String from your nose to your thumbs, and you're gonna rotate towards the camera. So rotate towards me, right? So rotate towards me. Your shoulder is gonna come off of the mat. The shoulder that's your farthest from me is gonna rotate. Then you're gonna come through center, you're gonna rotate to the other side. So instead of turning your head, Remember, keep the string on the nose and the thumbs and you're rotating from there. So it's an inhale as you take it to the side and it's an exhale as you come back to center. It's an inhale as you take it to the side, you're keeping that opposite hip on the floor and exhale, come back. So you're gonna continue to do that. We're gonna perfect this right here. Your hands don't slide and your elbows don't bend, right? So that's gonna make the range of motions like so much smaller. Keep looking at your thumbs. So you want to move the whole upper body from the ribs to the top of your head. Moves as a unit. Yeah? So you move the whole thing as a unit. It's kind of like when you um, your phone goes flying into the back seat and you know how you turn to go get it. That's you moving your whole self as a unit. So you move as a unit here. One more to the right or which direction you started. And then last one on the other side. You're going to come back to center. You're going to take your hands behind your head. So hands behind your head. You can either stack your hands or interlace the fingers. Your choice. So your thumbs are right at the base of your skull and your hands are wrapping or you're right here. I want you to think about the pinkies. Where your pinkies are touching the back of your head. I call that the pinky side of your head. You're going to reach the pinky side of your head to the wall behind you. Right? That's going to give you a slight nod in your chin like you're holding that little you know, orange underneath your chin. So that's your inhale. Then you're gonna exhale, you're gonna lift head and shoulders up. You're gonna look right between your knees towards the floor. Yep. You're gonna hold it here at the top and you're gonna inhale. Then you're gonna articulate down middle back, upper back, shoulders and head. So you're not trying to plop down, right? You wanna come down just as gracefully as you went up. So you're down on the floor. So pinky fingers towards the wall behind you. That's your inhale. Then you're gonna exhale, curve on up like a candy cane, right? So you're gonna reach long and curl up. Don't push your head forward. Use your abdominals to lift you up. Take an inhale at the top, then exhale, come down, middle back, upper back, shoulders and head. You gonna do it again? Reach pinky side of the head to the wall behind you. Yes, kitty cat. And then exhale, lift head and shoulders up. Nice. Hold it right there. So you have the back ribs like wedging you up like a crowbar lifting you up right here. Rest your head in your hands. So relax your head in your hands. And then exhale, lift up a little bit higher. Nice. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. Take another inhale, get long in the spine, pinky side of the head to the wall behind you. And then exhale, curl up a half inch more. From here, shoulders are down the back. You're gonna rotate on that bottom rib edge like a knife and you're gonna rotate to the right. So rotate to the right, up and over. You're gonna come through center and go to the other side. Nice, check in with your hips. Make sure your hips are anchored. 
Nice. You're going to exhale, come through center, and inhale as you rotate. Exhale, come through center, and inhale as you rotate. Exhale, come through center, and inhale as you rotate. One more time. Exhale, come through center. Inhale as you rotate. Exhale, center. Take an inhale breath at the top, and then exhale, articulate down. Middle back, upper back, shoulders, and head. Bring your hands to the side, out to a T. Take your feet a little bit wider than your hips. And you're going to take your, keep your feet wide, but take your knees over to the right. So knees to the right, your left hip will come up. Let your left hip hang. I'm just going to give you some hip sways here. And then you're going to come through center and do the other side. So as you're moving side to side, I want you to think about your belly button is leading this. So you're not just flopping around like trout, right? So when you're moving from one side to the other, if your knees are to the left, pull your belly button to the right for your knees to come up and over. And if you're moving to the left, pull your belly button through to the left. So like there's a string on your belly button. So that way you can activate through the lower body, through the midsection, while the upper body is staying relaxed. Nice. Excellent. Come back to center. Bring your feet back to hip distance apart. All right. So your feet are hip distance apart. Your booty is nice and heavy. Hands by your sides, please. Find your raspberry, blueberry, whatever is underneath your low back, your favorite piece of fruit. Maybe it's a raisin. Underneath you, you're going to bring your right knee into a tabletop. You're going to let the head of the femur just fall into the socket. Just hold it right there. Nice. So feel your booty relax here. When you bring your knee into a tabletop, your left butt cheek totally wants to squeeze, squeeze and your pelvis wants to tilt under. So what would happen if you relaxed your butt? Yeah, just relax your booty. Yes. Excellent. Keep that right there as you bring the right foot down and bring the left knee up. Nice. Now stop right there, let the, let the leg just fall into the socket, keep your booty heavy, keep your tailbone released, and then lower down. So it's an inhale as you lower it down, and then you exhale, you bring the other leg up. Nice. If you want to try something different, inhale as you take the leg down, and then exhale, let your lower leg dangle. So your upper leg, your lower leg is just dangling. That's gonna feel different than having your leg just be a tabletop. Maybe your hips will stay a little bit more stable there if you're just dangling through the lower leg and bringing the knee up, okay? Think about your suspenders, right? Think about your back ribs nice and heavy. Nice. You look lovely, y'all. The next time the right knee comes up, keep the right knee up and hold it there. Nice, right knee's up. Excellent, bring the foot, if you're dangling, bring the leg back up into a tabletop. You're gonna keep the left hip anchored as you open the right knee to the side, right? You don't wanna open it too much. You don't wanna give it away. You wanna give it away a little bit so the hip doesn't come up. And then you close the knee again, then you put the foot down. Then you exhale, bring the left knee up into a tabletop. Then you take the knee out to the side. That's your inhale as you open, and you exhale, bring it back. Okay, so that's your new move here. So you're going to put that foot down on your inhale, and your exhale, you're going to bring the other leg up. So while you're doing this, let's perfect it. Make sure the ankle part of the leg goes with the knee. So the whole thing is opening. Don't leave the toes behind. Yes. So the knee just opens up with the foot. The foot goes with, right? Yeah, no one left behind here. You don't want to take it too wide. You want to keep that opposite hip dangling. Yes, I love it. Nice. You're going to end on the left. The next time the right knee comes up, hold it there. Right knees up, hips are relaxed, tailbone is released. You're gonna extend that right leg out like 60 degrees. So extend it straight out, 
right? Extend it just like Zaina said, reach, reach, reach from the whole leg and then bend the knee back in and then put the foot back down. Exhale, bring the other leg up and extend it out and then bring it back. Nice, bring the foot down. Exhale, draw the knee up. So here's the best part here, is you get to figure out like how heavy you can be. So I want you to think of yourself as an installation piece in a gallery, and the only moving parts that are moving are your hip socket, right, or the hip joints, the lower leg. Everything else is solid, like solid cement. So what would that look like if you actually were solid and that was the only part of the body moving? If you focus it on that and think about moving from the bones, you will feel you get so heavy and you will feel your muscles just start to fire on their own and be super succinct and it's kind of magical and I love it so much. <laughs> nice. And bring that foot down. You're going to bring one leg up and hold it. Bring the other leg up and hold it. Nice. Release your tailbone. Keep the whole flat side of your pelvis down. Nice. I love it, y'all. So from here, we're going to go for a dip with both toes. If you prefer heels because it's a little bit less to travel, I totally support that. You're going to inhale, extend the legs out. Like it does not extend, but take it 90 degrees down towards the floor and then bring it back. So remember here, you don't want your ribs to come peeling off the floor. You only want to go down as low as you can that you can keep your whole upper body engaged and heavy and anchored. Right? So you have to work in the capacity of what your body is able to do today. You may have killed it yesterday. Today is a new day. Right? So inhale as you extend out. And then exhale, bring it back. One more time. Inhale, extend out. And exhale, bring it back. Beautiful. Take your right foot down. Bring your left foot down. You are going to press through your feet. You're going to find your suspenders. We're coming up into a bridge without articulation. So someone just put a spatula underneath you and lifted you straight up towards the ceiling, please. So lift those hips straight up. Push through the feet. Pull them a little bit towards you. Push your knees away from you and just breathe here. Just take a nice inhale breath and exhale. Nice. Inhale. You're a straight line from your knees to your shoulders and exhale. You can press down into your arms because it is a little extension with your arms, right? So inhale and exhale. You're gonna inhale here on your exhale, you're gonna come straight down. You're gonna tap your booty down. You'll inhale as the booty taps, you'll exhale, you'll push through your feet and lift straight up. Nice, hold that. I want you to press down into your right foot and into your left shoulder. So you have that diagonal line, it's like a Miss America sash from your right knee, right foot, to your left shoulder. You're gonna bring your left knee into a tabletop. Nice. You're gonna place that foot down. You're gonna transfer the Miss America sash from one side to the other, then you're gonna bring the other knee up. Nice. And lower that foot down. You inhale as you lower, you transfer the weight and you bring the other knee up. Make sure you're moving from the hip joint. You're just drawing the knee towards your nose and then lower down. If you're feeling festive today, you can extend your arms up towards the ceiling. That changes it a little bit. Nice. You have two more. You're gonna end on the left side. And you'll bring that leg down. You're gonna tap your hips down, inhale, tap. And then exhale, lift straight back up right here. You're gonna push through your feet, pull the heels towards your booty and you're gonna lower your hips down an inch, up an inch, take it down, bring it up. Nice, it's an inhale and an exhale. It's an inhale and an exhale. You have four and three and two. Last one, hold it at the top. Nice, relax your shoulders down the back. Take an inhale breath, bring your arms up to the ceiling. Take your arms back to the wall behind you. This is my favorite stretch on the planet. And you're going to articulate down upper back, middle back, low back, hips, and tailbone. 
Take your hands back behind your head. Bring your hands right behind you. Find that pinky side of your head, not your chin. You're gonna inhale here. You're gonna exhale, lift head and shoulders up and hold it at the top. Nice, wedge those back ribs in like you're lifting up like a crowbar, right? You're lifting up right there. Relax your booty a little bit. Don't squeeze too much because you want to use your abdominals. You want to feel your pelvic floor engage, but not so much your cheeks, right? Not so much the cheeks, more so the whole pelvic floor. You're lengthening through the spine. Your head is like in a hammock of your hands and you're lifting up and you're holding that right there. So just take a nice, big, beautiful inhale breath and feel your abdominals sink down like that cake. Nice. Inhale one more time. And then exhale right there. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. Little pulses up. Little lifts. Stay long. Little lifts. Little lifts. Nice. Four more. Four. And three. And two. Hold it at the top. Hold it right there. Shoulders down. Nice. Find some space between your ears and your shoulders. Nice. Get long in the spine and the neck. And then go ahead. Inhale and exhale. Come down. One vertebrae at a time, middle back, upper back, shoulders and head. Pinky side of the head to the floor, notch and inhale. Exhale, lift yourself up again. Hmm. This is where it gets a little sucky maybe. You're gonna take a nice inhale breath, keep that booty relaxed, bring your right knee up into a tabletop. Nice, hold that and then lower that leg down. That's your inhale and then you're gonna exhale, bring the left leg up. Nice. And then you're going to inhale that leg down and bring the other leg up. Check in with your fabulous torso. Make sure it's not wiggling. Yes. Make sure there's that stability there. I love it. One more time. You're going to bring the right leg up and hold it. You're going to bring the left leg up and hold it. Keep your booty nice and heavy. Take a nice inhale breath. Exhale, lower your head down. Keep your feet up, nod chin, pinky side of the head to the floor. Exhale, lift up and hold it right there. I love that. Keep your feet together. Just open your knees apart. Like you're opening up a book. And then close the knees. Inhale, open. Open the knees. And then close the knees. So feet stay together. And you're just opening and closing the knees. Nice. Two more. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. One more time. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. Lower the right foot down. Lower the left foot down. And then articulate down one vertebrae at a time. Upper back, middle back, low back, hips. And no, other way. Upper back, middle back, shoulders and head. All right. You're going to lie on your side. So everyone come on to your left side. So left side, please. So you're lying down. Right? So you're lengthening nice and long. So legs are long, 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 long. So you want to find that blueberry underneath your left side body. So you're reaching long, flex through your feet. You want to have both legs longer, right? Both legs, top leg longer than the bottom. But your hips are stacked. So imagine that you have two lollipops going through your shoulders and your hips, and your hips are completely stacked. You're going to reach your legs long and then float both legs up here. So find those suspenders, find everything. You're right here, just inhale, then exhale, lower down. You're gonna inhale, reach, try and touch the wall as you drag your legs up the wall, and then lower the legs down. Nice, you're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, touch the wall, exhale, lift legs up, and then lower down one more time right here. Inhale, reach, and exhale, lift and hold that right there. Hold it, hold it. Peel your heels toward or toes towards you. Reach long. Take your top arm up and just find your balance here. I love this one because it feels like you're teetering on the edge of something, but you're really just laying on the floor. I love it. Squeeze inner thighs. Hold five. Hold four. Hold three. Hold two. Stay there. Lower the bottom leg only. Reach through the top leg. You're going to point the foot, and then you're going to flex the foot. Uh-huh, and then point the foot, reach long, and then flex the foot. Now think about what Zaina said, right? You're reaching the leg long. Your leg is not just hanging there. I like to say reach the leg long from your armpit all the way down so it gets the whole side body engaged. One more time. You reach, you point, then you flex. Hold it here. Waist is in. You're going to bring the leg forward, right? Point the foot, and then press it back. Reach long. 
Mm -hmm. Flex and bring it forward. Inhale, point, and mm -hmm. press it back. So we're going to do two more like this, and we're going to switch it up a little bit. Flex, bring it forward. Point, press it back. One more time. Flex, bring it forward. Upper body doesn't move. Remember, you're an installation piece. Point, take it back. Flex in the foot. We're going to go two pulses in the front. You're going to go pulse, pulse, point, exhale, press back, reach. Do it again. Flex, flex. Inhale, exhale, point, reach back, hold. Two more. Flex, flex, point, reach back, hold. One more time. Flex, flex, point, reach back, hold. We're going to go a little bit faster. Go to your flex. Flex, point, reach back, hold. Three more. Inhale, inhale, point, reach, press back. Two more. Inhale, inhale, point, reach, press back. One more. Inhale, inhale, point, reach, press back. Hold it. Three, two. And one, bring the legs back together. Nice, lift both legs up again. You're gonna externally rotate the legs. And you're gonna go for some heel beats, right? With pointed toes, you're gonna heel beat, 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 beat it, beat it. So here's the thing, bottom leg. Gotta get it going. It's so easy to just only do the top, but get the bottom leg moving too. Clip, 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 you have eight, six, four, three, Two, last one, hold it. Now try your balance again. Now that you've done all that beautiful, amazing, lovely work, hold five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna bend your knees. You're gonna have your heels, butt, shoulder, ear, all in one line. You're gonna come onto your elbow. You're gonna open up through the chest. Your shoulder is directly over your elbow. You're gonna push your hip away from you. You're gonna open up through the chest. We're going into a side bridge here. So chest is open, navels and push the hip away. So you have both sides of the body long. So imagine you're in a corset. You could not be in a corset all slouchy. Plus we're not at the beach because they're all closed right now. So lift up, open chest. If you need to feel this not in your neck, you can look down at the floor. You're gonna push through your forearm and you're gonna lift your hips up to the ceiling. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. You're gonna inhale, tap the hip down and exhale, lift it straight back up. Tap it down and lift it straight back up. Two more, tap it down, and lift, exhale, inhale, as you lower, hold it at the top, eight little beats, eight, lift, seven, maybe arms up, six, five, yeah, four, three, two, last one, hold it, and come on down, and we're gonna switch sides, please. Switch sides, quick and dirty. <clears throat> Come on down, reach it long, find those two candy canes, lollipops, in, get long on the side body, find the blueberry underneath you, reaching from the armpit, flex through both feet, and float the legs up. So you're using your bottom leg to lift the top leg, right? So you inhale lower, and you exhale lift, and you inhale lower, and you exhale lift. Nice, take your top arm up. Nice, find that balance, five, four, three, two. And one, lower the bottom leg, keep the top leg up, right at hip height, pull navel in, you're gonna point the foot, and push the heel away, flex the foot, so extend, extend, point. It's really easy just to focus on the front part of the leg. What would happen if you, you know, focused on the backside, you know? You point, so just try and feel your backside body, hamstrings in particular, point. And flex, hold that flex. Here we go, to the front, so go slow first. Bring it forward, inhale, point, and press it back. Nice, three more like this. Flex as you bring it forward, point as you take it back. Last two, flex, bring it forward, point, press it back one more time, flex. Bring it forward a little bit faster with the pulse. It's pulse, pulse, point, reach, press back. Again, it's flex. Inhale, point, reach, press back two more, it's flex. Inhale, point, and reach back. One more, here we go, it's flex. Point reach, here we go, a little faster, here we go, it's flex, flex, point, reach back, and hold three more, it's flex, flex, point, reach back, and hold two more, it's flex, flex, point, reach back, and hold one more, it's flex, 
flex, point, reach back, hold it, bring the legs back together, lift up, find your balance this time with that nice warm booty, hold five, hold four, hold three, hold two, bend the knees, come on up onto your elbow, lift up tall, open up to the chest, push your hip away from you, navels in, imagine that you're fabulous, right, just your feeling fabulous, you're looking fabulous, you're doing all fabulous. So look down and you're gonna find through, you're gonna lift from your side body. You're just gonna exhale, lift up and inhale lower. Exhale, lift and inhale lower. It's so nice to incorporate all parts of the body, not just the one. Hold it at the top, open up through the chest, little lifts up eight times, go eight, seven, six, Five, four more, and three, and two, last one, hold it, and come on down. Nice. All right, y'all, we're going to lay on our bellies. Lay on the bellies. So come on down. Your arms or hands are right by your armpits, so you have like little grasshopper legs, right? So little grasshopper legs. Reach your legs long, squeeze your inner thighs together. Shoulders are down the back. Pull your waist in, so anchor the whole lower body, right? And your forehead's on the floor. It's hard for me to talk when my forehead's on the floor, so I'm gonna be talking towards you while your head is down. So you're gonna reach the top of your head towards the wall in front of you. So you're extending your neck long as your shoulders pull down the back. Right? So you're just hold there, take an inhale breath, and then exhale it out to on your next inhale. You're gonna reach your head and slide your head up the wall. So it's not about folding yourself in half, it's about getting long in your spine. And then articulate yourself down from the front. Right? Articulate your spine down from the front, just like you do in the back. So inhale, reach. And then exhale, hold it. And then inhale, lift yourself up, sliding the top of your head on that wall up. Take a nice inhale breath here, come down. Middle back, upper back, right? Shoulders, and then your head. Do it again. Reach the top of your head towards the wall in front of you. And then inhale, lift on up. Nice, and then articulate down. <laughs> yes, oh my God, it looks so lovely. You look amazing. Can I watch it one more time? Thanks. <laughs> Go ahead, reach top of the head forward and slide it up the wall, slide it up the wall. Yes, I love it. Can you float your hands? Can you stay lifted and float your hands up? Just lift them up, yeah. And then bring your hands down and then articulate down. That's lovely. Now that I know that you can hold yourselves up, so I'm gonna have you like reach your arms out. So stay where you are, right where you are, reach top of the head. And then you're gonna inhale, lift up. Exhale, float hands. And then inhale, reach arms forward. Nice. And then exhale, pull elbows back like a cactus, like a robot, like a goalpost. And then inhale, reach arms forward, stay lifted. I know I'm being so mean, it's okay. And then exhale, pull back. Nice, one more time. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, pull back. Nice, bring your hands to the floor and then articulate down one vertebra at a time. So middle back, upper back, shoulders and head. Nice, rest your head, wiggle your butt. So wiggle your butt side to side, wiggle it just a little bit. Yes. Hey. Uh oh, get into it, y'all. I see you. <laughs> Work it out, Allegra. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you're going to come on up <laughs> and you're going to sweep your feet in front of you. All right. So I like to do everything a little bit backwards sometimes because my clients, most of them are new to Pilates. And so I like to warm up their bodies before we do a little bit more, before we like jumping into like, you know, at five and hundreds and stuff. So here we go. They're getting stronger. It's amazing. And then I 
restructure everything. So you're sitting up nice and tall. You're going to exhale. You're going to roll back halfway. Right? So you're just going to scoop under. Roll back. <laughs> Reach your legs long. That was fun. And then you exhale. Roll up and sit on up. My mat moved. <laughs> so funny. All right, it's never a dull moment. And then inhale, roll back, reach fingers and toes in the same direction. And then inhale, exhale, come on up. One more time. You're gonna inhale, roll back halfway. Hold that. Take an inhale breath. Fingers and toes are reaching in the same direction. It's like there's glitter shooting out of your fingertips. You're gonna inhale, exhale, take it back a half inch more. Engage through your legs, inner thigh squeezing, reach. Inhale, exhale, take it down a half inch more. Inhale, exhale, take it all the way down. Reach arms back, take it inhale up, and then exhale, notch chin as you roll forward. Pull belly in and reach. And then articulate down again. Reaching toes, reaching toes, reaching legs. Extending from the back of the legs. Extending from the front, right? I love it when the arms and legs have to reach in the same direction because we always try to have them going in opposite directions, but when they're going in the same direction, it's just different, nice, right? Last one, you're gonna hold on the down. All right, we're going into the 100, here we go. But before we actually do it, I'm gonna show you some fancy legs. So, hips are heavy, ribs are heavy, find your fruit, find your raspberry. Bring your right knee into a tabletop. Bring your left knee into a tabletop. And so this is where we are right here. So this is your inhale. You're gonna exhale, extend the legs up to the ceiling. You're gonna inhale, lower the legs about, what? 60 degrees. And then you'll exhale, take the legs down, maybe like what? 45, 50 degrees, and then bend the knees, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, right? So this is your 100 breaths, right? Inhale, and exhale. So bring your right foot down, left foot down, bring your arms up to the ceiling. Take a nice inhale breath and take the pinky side of your head to the wall behind you. And you're going to exhale, coming up as one unit. Reach your fingers past your toes, shoulders down the back. Remember, you can always keep your head on the floor. You know this. Relax your booty. Take an inhale breath and exhale, come back down. Nice. Two more like this. Pinky side of the head to the wall behind you. Exhale, lift and reach towards the wall in front of you. Pull navel in, inhale, and then exhale, come back down. Last one, we're staying up and we're going for it. Nod, chin, inhale, and exhale, lift head and shoulders up and reach. Bring the right knee up, bring the left knee up, reaching long and go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, nice. Four more sets here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Five, exhale, nice. Three more sets, go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, nice. Two more sets, go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, one more time right here. Go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, hold it here. Inhale. And exhale, bring your knees into your chest. Take your feet to the side. Take your arms to a T, go ahead. And hips sway at side to side. If you wanna add your head as well, go right ahead. And come back to center. So shoulders down the back, all right. We're gonna roll up three times, then we'll come back and go for our ab five, which I only do four. So inhale, arms up, and then roll up, reach. This is one, we're doing two more. And then roll back, pull navel in, reach, legs long. Take it back, two more. Inhale, reach. If you can't come all the way up, you don't have to. Just come up as high as you can. And one more. Inhale, exhale, if this is you, that's awesome. 
and then you roll back. Nice, bring your knees into your chest. You're holding on to your knees. Your arms are long as your knees are pressing into your hands. You're gonna lift and pull yourself towards your thighs, not pulling your thighs towards you. You're lifting yourself up, your upper body up. You're gonna hold on to your left leg as your right leg reaches long. Relax your shoulders down your back and extend from your booty so the whole back side is engaged. And you're gonna switch legs and you're gonna hold it, right? So reach through the leg, pull the belly in. Find that isometric hold in your biceps. Switch legs and hold. Nice, curl up a little bit higher. Push your knee more into your hands. Switch legs and hold. Nice, we're gonna go a little faster. We're gonna go for two counts. Here we go, it's switch for two and switch for two and switch for two. A little faster for eight counts. Here we go, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both knees in. Bring your head down to get inhale breath. Arms are still straight. Knees are pressing in. You're gonna exhale, lift head and shoulders out. We're going for a double leg stretch. I call it banana roly poly bud because it's literal. So you're a banana, right? So your arms back, legs forward. You sweep around, you're a roly poly bud. So inhale, banana, and then exhale, roly poly bud. Inhale, banana, exhale, roly poly bud. Inhale, banana, exhale, roly poly. One more time. Inhale, banana, and exhale, roly poly by Bring your head down, legs up, hold on behind your left thigh or calf. Your range of motion here for your non held leg is anywhere here. All right, so find the one that works for you that's going to keep your booty nice and anchored. Push your legs into your hands as you lift head and shoulders up. You can always keep the head down. You're going to go two tugs, tug, tug. You're going to switch legs and hold right here. Again, tug, tug, switch legs and hold. One more, two more like this. Switch, tug, tug, switch and hold. One more like this. Tug, tug, switch and hold. A little faster. You go two. And switch, two. And switch, two. We're going eight singles. Here we go. Eight counts. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug knees in. <sighs> Bring your hands behind your head. We're going crisscross. I don't teach double leg, straight leg stretch to my clients. Bring your elbows forward. Pinky side of the head to the wall behind you, lift head and shoulders up, reach the right leg long, extend from your booty, and take up and over to the left side, looking over through the left side of your hip. And then you switch legs and you come through center. And you switch legs and you come through center. And you switch, go center, and you switch. A little faster, you go switch, two, and switch, two. And switch, two, and switch, four more right here is four, and three, and two, and one. Come back center and release down. <sighs> Take your arms out to the side. Give yourself a little bit of a hip sway again. Maybe look side to side if you'd like. You are going to come up in however fashion you like. And you're coming to a down dog. So you're reaching your tailbone towards the ceiling, shoulders down the back, pushing your chest through your arms. You're gonna walk your hands towards your feet. And then slowly use your abdominals to roll yourself up one vertebra at a time. You're gonna inhale the arms up to the ceiling. And then you're gonna exhale. You're gonna dive down, walk out into a plank, and do one push up. Then you're gonna walk back and roll up. You're gonna inhale the arms up. And exhale, dive down, walking out into a plank. 
and do one push up. And you're gonna walk back. Thanks, and roll on up. So now it's gonna get a little fancy. You're gonna come into releve. You're gonna lift your heels off the floor, arms come up to the ceiling. You're staying in releve for the next two rounds. Right, so your inhale, arms up. You exhale, dive down. Take your time, don't rush it. And you walk out. You do your push up. You walk back, staying in releve. Stay in releve, stay in releve. That's the goal. You may come up slower on your toes, which is fine, because you want to keep the balance. And then inhale the arms up. Stay in releve, and then exhale, dive down. It's harder than you think, right? Yeah. And then you walk out into your plank, and you do your push-up. And you walk back. Stay in releve, please. Stay in releve. Woohoo! Yes, party people, roll on up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Woo! Bring your heels down. All right, we're going for an arabesque because you're so badass. Here we go. Right leg back. Arms up to the ceiling. You're gonna make a capital T for Teresa. So you're gonna Thank reach you. your fingers forward. You're welcome. Have a good day. Reach your fingers forward. Reach your toes back. Lower yourself down. Woo! Keep that leg up. And you're gonna walk it out into a plank. Rest your ankle on top of the other. Do a push-up. And you're gonna take yourself back into your three-legged dog. Walk yourself back. And then slowly come back up. Woo! And then you're gonna switch legs. Yes. <laughs> you're killing it, y'all. Take your left leg back. Inhale, reach. Toes and fingers touch opposite walls. And then bring your hands down. Your leg is up, 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 up. And walk out. When you come to your plank, rest your ankle. Do a push up. And then when you come back into your three-legged dog, take that leg up, 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 up. Touch the ceiling, touch the ceiling. And then slowly come back up. Yes, reach. Reach, 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 yes. And come on down and love it. Inhale the arms up to the ceiling. And then exhale, arms down. Two more times, inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms down. You're gonna do it one more time. Inhale your arms up. And exhale, the arms down. Thank you so much, everyone. You did an amazing job. I appreciate you so much. You're welcome. You're brilliant. Yes. Thank you so much. That was great. It was great. I, I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna speak for me for a moment and just say that I really love your cueing. And I think that you should think about singing a little more. I actually really loved your rhythm with, um, I don't know, if you were snapping or clapping and then your voice would kick in, it was great. It was really great. Yeah. So I loved your cue and loved the rhythm. Yeah, thank you so much.